Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chef Paul Higgins, and we're here today to make lentil soup. The uh, reason we chose lentil soup is, for one, it's easy and quick to make. It doesn't require a lot of preparation. Uh, and as a lot of us are used to cooking beans, you have to soak them overnight, and there's a whole long process. With lentils, we can go right into the pot, and 25 minutes later, we can be having our meal. So kind of exciting. One of the things, of course, with lentils, when you want to bring them home for the family, everybody kind of turns their nose up at you a little. Uh, so we'll put a little spin on it, and we're going to call it hot dog soup. Uh, we'll introduce hot dogs into the soup as part of our flavoring, uh, add some additional protein, uh, and we'll also have the uh, hot dog buns uh, to be our croutons to go along with the dish. So um, hope you enjoy, and let's get underway. Again, we're going to use a basic maripaw, carrot, celery, and onions. I'm going to start heating my pot. I've got the burner on uh, medium-high. I'm going to add uh, about two tablespoons here of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Let that come to temperature. Add my onions. Got my carrots. I've got my celery. Okay, so I've got two cups of onions, one cup of carrots, and one cup of celery. Uh, anytime that you put these three ingredients together to make a recipe, it's two parts onion, one part celery, one part carrot. So while those are uh, starting to come together a little bit, we're also gonna add some garlic. So I have my garlic here I wanna uh, chop up. Calls for two cloves. So what I've done is I've smashed the garlic so that the peel will come off easily. Uh, then now have the garlic so I can, uh, can chop it up fine. So whenever you're chopping using the board, of course, uh, you want to be careful that you uh, leave, don't get your fingers in the way. And we'll just add that. Typically, you always want to add your garlic um, after your other raw vegetables because the garlic will cook faster uh, and you don't want it to brown. As these ingredients are coming together, they start to sizzle. And what that sizzling is, is the moisture that's in them is coming out. Uh, and what that's doing is trying to more intensify um, the flavor. So what we're going to do next then is to add our broth. Uh, we've got four cups uh, of beef broth. Now when you add the broth, of course, it cools down the soup and you've got to bring it back up to temperature again. In this case, we're going to bring it up to almost where it, uh, where it starts to boil. Okay, we're then going to add, we have a can of, um, of tomatoes, diced tomatoes with the juice in them. We're going to add those in as well. Uh, these tomatoes that I'm using are uh, off the shelf at the food pantry that are, um, have, uh, they're Italian flavored. So we've got a little, uh, little additional flavoring going on. And of course, we need to add our lentils. So as our soup's getting ready, uh, we want to work on uh, getting our hot dogs uh, cooked off. And we also uh, want to get our buns ready to, to get toasted in the oven. So um, we'll get started on that. Lentils, of course, have uh, been around for uh, well, well over 10,000 years. Uh, they're a green little uh, legume, is the family of plant they belong to. Uh, and again, a lot of folks like to just sort of go buy them. I'll tell you another fun thing that uh, you can make with them is chili. Uh, lentil chili is right up there. So uh, if you get an opportunity, I uh, certainly would uh, encourage you to, uh, to use lentils. So let's uh, have three hot dogs. Uh, I'm just going to put them in the skillet. I want to add just a little bit of oil. Um, we don't want anything to, to stick. There's always something about the sizzle that makes it feel good. I guess it makes you know you have your, your pan right. So those are gonna, we're just gonna let those cook slow actually. Uh, and while that's going on, we'll, we'll get the, the buns ready. So I've got my, uh, I've got a sheet pan here. I'm going to put the buns on. Uh, just got regular hot dog buns, and all I'm going to do is just uh, cut them up and get them uh, with a little bit of uh, olive oil and toast them in the oven.
If olive oil is something that's not available, of course you could use a canola oil or another vegetable oil. Of course you want to stay away from any oils that have a lot of saturated fats in them. Um, I like to use a little brush to spread them around, make sure it's, everything's even. Um, and then so that it works well on my plate, I'll just, uh, just cut them so I can put them into the, into the oven. We've got a 400 degree oven, uh, and we're just gonna cook, let them go until they're brown, probably take five, six minutes for that to happen. In the meantime, we got our hot dogs browning up here very nicely, and we're cooking them all the way through. One of the reasons that I like to do that in advance is to uh, knock down some of the fat so that it doesn't fight uh, when you put it back into the, uh, into the soup. When I say fight, is the, what I mean is that uh, ingredients have to come together in, in like a fusion. It's like a marriage. They all belong together. And if you don't put them together in the right order, all of a sudden your dish is going to go the wrong way. And then you ask yourself, well, what happened? What? So if you understand a little bit about putting ingredients together, then you can certainly have yourself a, a wonderful meal. Soup's doing well. One of the things that we do when we go to finish this soup uh, is I like to use balsamic vinegar on it. It's certainly an option, uh, but it adds an awful lot to the um, to your soup. So our soup's going to be uh, as it comes up. We'll finish it off with the uh, the lentils. We got our hot dogs ready here. And just going to cut them uh, so that they're spoon size. And then add them right into my soup. We'll just stir all that up together, let the flavors come together, finish it with a balsamic vinegar, and our soup will be ready. What's nice about this soup is the, how quick you can put it together. It's, uh, it's really a, a, a very flavorful soup, a uh, great soup for this time of the year. Um, and if you need to, you can adjust your flavors with a little salt and pepper. I'm hesitant with that only because um, the hot dogs have plenty of salt in them. Balsamic vinegar is its, uh, is its own. It, it's, it's, been, it's been in kegged. It, it's uh, casks. It's, uh, it's got a real intense flavor. Um, and it, it, it also um, breaks down uh, some of the fat, uh, again, within the hot dogs. Uh, and brings the flavor of the of the lentils um, all the way up. So you, when you taste it, you'll understand that. So we're, we're ready for a taste. So that'll that'll be next. We'll get my plate out and we'll we'll start dishing up. Well, our lentil soup looks to be about ready. Our croutons are ready in the oven. They were in there at 400 degrees for just about six minutes. So we're ready for plate up. Our lentil soup. Gonna add a couple of the, the croutons. And there we have hot dog dinner. Well, thanks everyone for joining us today and a special thanks to Harold's Appliance and Electronics for allowing us to come in and use their kitchen. Uh, hopefully it didn't make too big of a mess, uh, but it's certainly been fun. Uh, the crew here and everyone has certainly uh, enjoyed uh, the opportunity to, to come together and be part of this and support the Knox County Food for the Hungry program. So hopefully you'll support it as well and uh, we'll keep Knox County uh, growing and, and doing all the good things that we do in our community.